Hello YouTube, this is Blenderbug and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on baking shadows on top of your own textures. I've seen many tutorials doing this but they never showed you how to mix your own textures with the baked shadows and I always thought that it had to be done internally within Blender but Vlad from um, the Moya team told me that I could just do it in in GIMP and I don't know why I've never thought about it before but it is genius and simple so I'm gonna show you guys how to bake shadows on top of your own textures so first let's bake the shadows uh, go to ambient occlusion in the world menu shift A to add a cube Let's duplicate that because we want to we want to see some shadows between those okay so in the UV right we can unwrap and after that I don't know the shortcut for bake so I usually just type it in there and it works fine as you can see the shadows showed up and what we have to do is save the image to where you can find it and then um, from from here on out all you have to do is make your own texture and you can go about doing that through blender or you can do that in GIMP so I'm gonna pretend that I wanna do it in GIMP so I'm just gonna start up GIMP and open up my shadows Here they are. Now, the last thing I need to do is just add a texture. So I need a second layer for my own textures. Uh, once we get this, um, you'll have your shadows, your textures. The only thing we need to do here is set the mode for both images to multiply so they mix together. Now you can see the two images mixing and the shadow is within the texture that you made. And after this you can save it as your shadow or a new one if you want and export it. Open up Blender reload image and you're good to go. You can see the shadows clearly and you can see the texture as well. So there you have your big shadow. So I want to thank Flad for giving me this tip and hopefully it it's useful to you guys as well.